hey guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be unboxing all the items that i purchased from dior recently and i'm so excited to show this to you i wanted to record it for a whole week but i didn't have the chance and finally i can record this video and i hope that you like it by the way guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below do consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. Please also consider checking out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few videos about Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion chanel bags luxury shopping vlogs beauty products and travel videos actually when i went to dior i was able to pick up one item because i didn't have to alter it and i had to wait for a few days for dior to deliver my other item that i'm so excited to have in my collection and i just can't wait to wear it so I will start from the first item that I picked up and I actually posted a picture of this item on my Instagram account. So if you're following me, you probably saw it. I styled it in a very different way. Actually, I hardly ever post unboxings of ready to wear because it's very quick to unbox it. But since I have two items and I'm also going to do a comparison, I think it's going to be a bit more useful than just a simple unboxing. I hope so, at least. I'm trying to make my videos a bit more useful than just showing what I got. Okay, so here is the first item, the vest, that initially I fell in love with when I saw it. I wasn't sure if it's going to suit me and fit me because it's actually in a size 36 and I typically wear size 34. Initially, I didn't even want to try it on, but I like the way it looks and I have a few similar type of shirts that I can wear it with. I bought it because I really like the length of it. I think it's a perfect length and it can emphasize the waist and make every simple shirt dress look a lot more special. And also I could technically wear it with a t-shirt and also on my Instagram account I posted a picture where I was wearing it with a white shirt and jeans. So if you guys are not subscribed to my Instagram account, please consider to check it out. I'll be styling it and posting more outfits of the day on my Instagram account. And moving on to the second item that I actually came specifically to purchase and I really like it. And some of you guys will tell me, well, you already have something similar like that. Why do you need to have another one? but I tend to use it so much and I think this item is so timeless and I think by now you already guessed that I got a Dior bar jacket. Since I have been using the one that I already have so much, I decided to get this one because I can't wear it more than once a week and I need to have a backup ready in my wardrobe and also Dior bar jackets went up in price since last year by quite a few hundred dollars, which is quite frustrating, but I guess it happened across all brands so i thought why not purchase it right now i feel like dior makes the best and the most flattering jackets that i have ever tried so i need to have another one and that's my excuse anyways i like the fabric and i'm glad that they got it in a black color i think it's so timeless and by the way, the suit back is so different from the last years. On the right hand side, you can see the current Dior back and on the left hand side, you can see the last year's back. I really like the fit of this one and I am glad that Dior had it in my size and I'll be wearing it quite a lot. So I'll be posting more pictures on my Instagram account as well. I will style it with my Valentino skirt that I have recently purchased and I think they will look great together. 
and by the way guys i will show you how this jacket was altered i literally altered this side i didn't have to do that but i just thought it's going to look a bit nicer if i alter it a bit it's just gonna look a bit more flattering and by the way guys if you want to check out the other dior bar jackets that i got to try please feel free to check out the other vlog that i will link down in the description box below i tried a few variations of these jackets by the way last year i also purchased this belt that i absolutely love i think it's so flattering and i use it a lot and some of you guys asked me to review it i think it's perfect it's so feminine and it's so flattering and it still looks like new there's no any scratches on the buckle it's perfect i think it's in the smallest size i think extra small I highly recommend it, so if you see it in the store, do try it on, especially with the Dior bar jacket. And it also looks great with sweaters and dresses. It's just a perfect belt, I like it a lot, and it's probably one of my most favorite and most used belts at the moment. And now I'm going to compare the free button jacket that actually I never unboxed the last year, but I will try it on. I featured it in one of my videos where I was comparing it with the Balmain jacket and I will also link it down for you guys in case you want to check it out. This is how it looks on me. By the way, I really like this Dior necklace that I have recently purchased as well. It's so cute and I like the way it looks with the Dior bar jacket. It's not too much. It is perfect for a daily wear and I like it a lot. This jacket feels quite comfortable. I don't feel any discomfort when sitting in it. And I also posted quite a few pictures of me wearing this jacket. I usually like to wear it with black trousers. It's so convenient and I like that look a lot. And I also pair it with my Chanel Classic flap bag. And here is the six button, the new jacket that I just bought. The fit is actually very different and I never had to add a stud button to this one. I like that the cut is not very deep, not very low, which is great. It's very flattering. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. Please let me know which one do you prefer in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to see what you're going to say. And please consider checking out the two other Dior vlogs that I have recently published. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!